versus the Rob matchup. I don't know. I'm um, over to. I mean, it should be interesting. I don't know too much about this matchup, though. I don't know a huge amount about it, but I would imagine um, YouTube probably has a little bit of an advantage here for mobility, uh, reflecting projectiles, combos. But I have been wrong all kinds today. I'm not going to hold it, myself to it. It's fine. <laughs> So, why do you get in the Shadow Ball right from the start? Good evasion by uh, FOE to not fall right into it like some people do. Myself. Yeah, yeah. No, I know the feeling. But um, this definitely looks like they're slowing it down a little bit. Uh, FOE's gotten a lot of the early damage on, and he's just poking away at it. But it, this matchup just seems like Effo like Greninja's quick enough to stay out of too much of uh, Mewtwo's uh, things, but can't really get in himself relatively easily. Well, what I would look for here is um, for FOE to play this kind of measured, to get in, get a few hits, and get out, because Wadi's really going to want to get those combos going, especially the fair combos. Yeah. Um, Greninja's fast enough to kind of hit and run and avoid that. True. I mean, I think we saw both. I think we just saw a mix of both of those, because that's... Ooh, good all right, all right Wadi. <laughs> Goes for the disable on the platform. That was actually really good. I like that. Yeah. FOE using the side B, try to get out of the nair, but ends up falling back to a punish from it. Yeah. And off, I mean, off of that, uh, Wadi definitely actually brought the score, brought it back up until, so now it's pretty much tied up, and then what FOE had in terms of lead is gone at this point. But right, it's pretty even right now. They're kind of jockeying around, getting stage control. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm, do I'm seeing FOE do a pretty good amount is stall with the shuriken. Yeah. Throw, we're going to attack on some damage. Four there. Yeah. But scary, definitely a scary moment now for both. Well, that's it. That's it. No. <laughs> Ride the galaxy. So good up smash by Wadi there, catching FOE falling down on top of him. Yeah. I don't know if the substitute or I want to say substitute would have got or Shadow Think, whatever one it is, would have gotten him out of that up smash. But either way, uh, I don't think he really had too much time for it to come out now. Yeah. Because I definitely um, saw the bag or the Pokemon substitute thing come out before he died. But. Right. So we're probably going to see, um, well, we hopefully we'll see Riley FOE playing a little bit more aggressive. Oh, my goodness. And good stuff to Wadi with okay. that combo. Double back here. Wadi yep. takes the M1. Yeah, I think after that, we, I'd be surprised we didn't see a switch. So. I don't know. I mean, FOE's Greninja is good. No, I agree. Um, and he was doing really well in the beginning of the game there. Yeah, I just think Wadi got a whole bunch of momentum at the end. So. Right. I don't know if I'd switch. Um He's got a really, really good tune link, but looked like he knew what he was doing there. Yeah, no, like, I think this is a good choice. Uh, I, I, I like the same too, because I think a little more space allows him to play the game that he wants without making it so easy for Wadi to close a distance and do terrible things like this. Right. Now, one thing you did mention, too, I can see um, Greninja kind of uh, cautious about how he's going to approach Mewtwo here. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of great approach options. He, usually Greninja likes to throw a shuriken and run in behind him, but with Mewtwo, that's not as much of an option. Yeah, because it looks like, it looked like, I'm not sure if that was a full charge shadow ball or not, but I mean, what happened at the beginning of the match definitely proved what you were saying, because I'm pretty sure Wadi shadow ball went through, beat the shuriken and damaged FOE a little bit. So. Right. So you can see FOE trying to um, ledge guard here. Oh, rolls right back into it. Yeah. That's that's generally a dangerous thing. Uh, I'm, on, I'm more used to seeing that in terms of an edge guarding situation of catching the roll off the ledge, but I mean, it still works mid stage. Yeah. So. Gets the down air, can't get the footstool off of it, unfortunately. Uh, Mewtwo sitting at 80 percent, not a huge amount, but he's so light that a couple good hits will do it. Oof. Again, gets punished for using the uh, shadow sneak. Oh, oh good, good tech. tech. But, I mean, FOE's definitely knowing, knows what he's doing, but I think Wadi actually caught on to where the same strategy from before isn't working out as well as it did game one. Mm -hmm. Back there. Yep. Looking for the up air. Wadi uh, not even really coming close to it. Good movement in the air to stay away from everything that FOE throws out. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Tech to wall stick. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. Shadow Sneak actually goes through the Shadow Ball. And he is putting pressure on Wadi here. It's very smart. Not letting Wadi quite get the full charge on the Shadow Ball. Um, it's kind of a minor thing, but 
it can definitely help. Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, at this point, a full charge shadow ball probably kills FOE if he doesn't. Oh, absolutely. Stock, so. That's okay. the Yep. It's cool. And uh, I mean, FOE has the tools to bring us back. I'm not too sure how much uh, rage helps Greninja, but I only can imagine it me with Mewtwo's lightweight. I don't know if he was trying to counter Shadow Ball there or expecting to jump in or something, but he didn't get punished for it, which is nice. Yeah, that was honestly pretty terrifying to see. But uh, Wadi trying to catch the jump from FOE there. FOE will very wisely stay on the ground. Um, and again, oh, well, there we go. FOE finds a way in, gets a couple hits. Ooh, that uh, that Nair almost <laughs> that Nair up smash almost worked. Um, not really sure if that's true or not, but it'll go pretty close if it isn't. Yeah, it's a pretty good combo. I don't know that it's absolutely true, but it comes out pretty quickly. Forward throw. I up like throw that. wouldn't That's take it yet, I don't think. Yeah, but I think after that, an up throw will. Ooh. All right. That uh, F -air, F -air actually, it worked, so he's pretty safe for now. But Well, Wadi going for the really hard read with the up smash there, trying to catch a jump. Yeah. Uh, smart of FUE to drop down and do the fair instead, knock him out of it. Yeah. Um, FUE got to be careful, though. He's just kind of approaching and jumping in. That's that's it, yep. Not gonna lie, I was a little surprised about that up air being it, or what's that? It might have been up tilt. Either way, I was a little surprised at that, but good stuff to Wadi 